Magon, and you can never fool me with this shit right here. You know why? I'm a smart man. 100% bam. Now, we go take a look at this so-called Michael's Trayam in this so-called Blue Origin. And I already told you, it meaning it's a blue blood people. The satanic people on earth that's actually on you. Right here. Yes, they're the blue blood. Take a look at this right here, people. This is real. Is that real people you're seeing right there? You better wake your ass up. This is all fake shit. And I'm going to break it down and show you why they're giving you space right here in the pandemic. Run it. Next, turning to a new chapter mm -hmm. in space exploration and that trap. special moment for ABC's mm -hmm. very own Michael Strahan mm -hmm. blasting off today mm -hmm. aboard Blue Origin's rocket along with five other crew members. Take a look, people. Five other crew members in there. All of them is fake shit. This is CGI. You know this? The rocket almost fading away, people, right there. And I always ask you, what camera is really taking this shit? It's a fucking CGI clip. 100%. But like I say, we in a state where everybody just dumb right now. We in a state of mind, dumb as fuck. That's why people buying this shit right now in the dumbass pandemic. ABC's mm -hmm. transportation correspondent, Gio Benitez, transportation. watched it Take all a look, West people. Texas. Look, look, people. Mm -hmm. Tonight, a what is recording this above? What is waiting up there? What kind of camera is waiting above to take this fucking fake shit right here? Take a look, people. It is 100% CGI. You can't fool the mag. In space. Look at this Michael shit. Michael Strahan mm -hmm. soaring into zero gravity. Mm -hmm. Zero gravity. Take a look at this shit right here, people. That's what pushing it off all the way to space right there. You believe it? Everybody is just dumb with a feather on it. It's just a mockery for the dumb Blue people. Origins New Shepherd. Mm -hmm. Check out his New reaction. Shepherd. Take a look at these people. They're floating. He right there at the number six. Not a coincidence. All by design. Take a look at this sodomite right here with all diamonds in the background. Pay attention. Watch this. As he leaves the mm -hmm. atmosphere. While he leaves the atmosphere. And take a look. This is a good note to take right there. Take a look outside. The so-called rocket outside. And look what you see. The same daylight. Remember, they went up there, so-called, in broad daylight. Remember, they tell you that space is black. Why you still see light right there? We go get to it. Make it run. Take a look at this fake shit right here, people. And what they're holding in the hand. They're mocking the dumb people 100% in. Only the sleeping sheep's gonna buy it. They're even having blue headphones. There you go, people, because they are communicating with earth at the same time while they're in space pay attention michael here. and the crew soaring mm -hmm. well beyond the 62 mile high yeah, that's carmen 62. line 62 there you go all coding so guess what people the rocket go all the way up here blow all the way up here when it get to this line 62 miles then the top fly off the top don't have no engine nothing this is the only thing that can fly so they let off this right here and let it float and then drop it back to earth with a parachute. You tell me if this shit is real. Pay attention here. Marking the edge of space, wow. peaking mm -hmm. at more than 347,000 wow. feet above All ground coding. level mm -hmm. with a maximum velocity of 2,200 miles per hour. What a Just dumb more than shit. 10 it, what? Go back. Go back, people. You, you gotta be kidding me. Pay attention here, people. This rocket blow off, let off the so-called top where they're sitting in, and listen how fast it going. Pay attention. Of 2,200 miles per wow, hour. Wow, 2,200 miles per hour, people. Wow. Can you believe that shit? And then they just drop back right there at the same fucking spot every time. And this shit fall from space. And of course, they know exactly where it's going to land to stand there with a camera and record it dropping the dust. Always dust. Look at the ground, people. You're dumb as a fucking rock. Is that real? Wow. Just more than 10 We're minutes after easy. liftoff. The 10 minutes, people. It take 10 minutes to go to space and come back. Blue and white right there for your division is some kind of fuckery they're pulling off on the people for the new world order. That's why they keep showing you these sodomites going to space. It's fake. 100%. What's taking this right here? Who running this camera right here, people? That taking it from above now. Dumb on. Landing safely back Look, on of Earth. Of course it landed safely. Look at this, people. The dust around it, but the dust not even on it. You see that right there? Every time they do the same fucking footage. But like I mentioned in my podcast, everybody dumbed down in these times. They can't take a look and see 
They do the same fucking shit every time. DJ mm -hmm. watching on in the studio. Look at this shit right here, people. Wow. What With Amy and this? me on the ground in West Texas. Look at this shit right here. They're laughing. Why you think they're laughing, people? Every fucking one of them know it's a hoax. Wow. A lot of people say the news people don't know. You're stupid as a rock. All of them know. Why you think they're laughing at you right here? You believe that they're actually out there? These two fuckers right here. You believe they're there. You better wake up the same place in the studio fooling your dumb ass. Oh, wow, look at this shit. Ah, wow, and take a look at this fakery right here, people. They finally come out. They were strapped down looking like mannequins. They come out and hugging the Jeff Bezos. He was none there, but he dressed just alike as them. It's dumb, people. It's 100% dumb. There is no space. Under Jeff Bezos mm -hmm. greeting the crew. Look, and this fakery. touching moment. Mm -hmm. there look at this shit. Michael sharing wow. a hug. With fellow crew member Laura Shepard wow. Churchley, the daughter of, of course, the... it's called Shepard, and it's another fucking satanic puppet right there. It tied to what you think, people. Wow, never a lane without a tunnel. Bam. Crew member Laura Shepard Churchley, Look. the daughter of the first American in space, there you Alan Shepard. There you go, people. The daughter, of the first American in space, the daughter right now taking a flight to space. What a dumb shit! And look at this right here, people. It is mockery, but the people wouldn't know. You live in a dumb down time. There you go, they're mocking you. Amy catching up with Michael mm -hmm. after his Look, once... you see him? What did he do right there, people? That's the devil arms. The devil people put him right there to mock you with the fucking M stray am right there. Michael is 33, all fucking coding. Let's listen what he's saying. Lifetime flight. Mm -hmm. Do you Look. see the curvature? Mm -hmm. yeah. You see? You see that, people? What I don't tell you? All of these puppets have to sell you the government agenda. They're the one who want you to believe that you're living on a spinning ball. It's devil. It's the devil work. 100%. All you can see it is beyond me. Why they tell you living on a magical spinning ball, people? Why? Naturality is the creator. What natural about a spinning ball? You're dumb as a rock. Atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Blue. Blue. The blue. earth. Uh -huh. So he tell you that the earth down there is blue. And look at this fake shit right here, people. It's not real. I already told you they probably take a flick from the so-called zero gravity plane. That's how they do it. And they match it up and show it right here. Give you the green screen background and tell you they're in a blue origin. What a dumb shit. The astronauts Ray going to the moon next? No. Yes. yes. If they're they going, going to the moon next. Here you go. And I'm going to walk and talk. Wow. Moon look at them. <laughs> yeah, the people, they're mocking you right there. You're going to moonwalk. Look at this. They're laughing. Wow. What a dumb shit. Why did they choose this one? I already point him out and show you that he is a big puppet. 100%. Don't be surprised. There you go. Mm -hmm. And what I've got to wow. tell you, I've seen a lot of space mm -hmm. launches, but there's something mm -hmm. very different about Listen. seeing your own friend go up there. Wow. Just... See your own friend go up there. Up where? Dumb the fuck on. Don't tell Watch me. this, people. We go boss him right here. Pay attention. They can never describe space and get away with it. We know it's fuckery. Pay attention. How do you feel right now? Do you mm -hmm. feel different? I feel... Mm -hmm. it's, it's laughing. It's like... Why is he laughing, people? Why it's so fucking funny? Because it's dumb and they know it. Like I say, people, it's 100% dumb to believe that you can fly out the fucking blue sky, go to a magical place where everything flowed in, even rocks. You're dumb. You're just 100% dumb. I, it's, it's such, it's almost like an out-of-body experience. You hear that? Mm -hmm. You know, it's body. hard to even believe it happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's hard to believe that it even happened. It's fucking fakery, people. Not real. The feeling the of feeling, yeah. almost mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. completely out of control. You hear that? You completely mm -hmm. trust. Wow. Your life wow. is in the hands of other people. Like, oh, your, your, your life is in the hands of other people. Like, oh, nobody was flying that shit. <laughs> the rocket don't have a control board. It can't control. You can't control it. Nobody sitting around a steering wheel. Nobody sitting around a gas pedal. What the fuck is he talking about, people? Wow, the world dumb. That's Who it. Are you deemed smarter than you? Know yes. exactly mm -hmm. what's gonna happen. Yes, you see? How to you see? Take you up and bring you down. Safely. Take you up and, and bring you down. They couldn't have been mm -hmm. better here. Nobody right? wasn't flying it. Who take him up and bring him down, people? 
<laughs> it was fantastic. Wow. But it was what? Safely. And uh-huh. they couldn't watch have been watch better here. I mean, uh-huh. It was fantastic. What you see that right there, that's a triple six hall right there on the hand sign. I told you, the mark of the base is in full effect. That's why they're flashing the signs. And giving you all this fucking fakery. But it's a boy. crazy feeling, listen, like the listen. feeling of weightlessness, the feeling weightless when the booster thing. goes off, the mm-hmm. rocket goes off, mm-hmm. and it detaches, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you don't know what's up from down. Mm-hmm. And your body just. You don't know up from down. The, the, that rocket never showed that it's upside down. It went up. Remember, this is a. You never understand, people. This is the weirdest thing in the world, people. The rocket go up with the head on it. It left the head up there with no control. How come it don't tumble? How come when it fall in, it don't spin over, twist over? Like if you drop something. How come it just drop in a straight line, people? Are you dumb? And you have three parachute holding up this one object. And the parachute just stay in line. Obey and stay right there on the side. And just land. They never tie up. How do you believe this shit? Pay attention. It goes like this and mm-hmm. you take off a seatbelt. But mm-hmm. naturally, it feels natural to mm-hmm. move. You're you like see? swimming zero in the air. G. But if you, you swim, you don't go anywhere. Wow. You actually if, have to push wow. off. Wow, if you swim, you don't go nowhere. And look at his hand sign. Both of them have on the triple sixes. That's not a coincidence. It's a devil puppet right here. Fooling the damn masses about space. And of course, I tell you, everything they give you got an agenda behind it. They're testing very mm-hmm. gently, but it feels mm-hmm. very natural. Feel natural. And you're looking wow. at the earth. Listen, and listen, you listen. See the, you're, you're looking going up, uh-huh. and you're uh-huh. really looking at the... the how did you get to see down? You don't have a glass bottom ship, so called. How did you get to see down? Down is under your feet. You have the windows on the side. How did you get to see down? It's bullshit. 200 miles per hour. Wow. And you're going... How I, much? 2,200 miles per hour. 2,200 miles going, per hour, you know. I've been fast in a car. I've never mm-hmm. been this fast. Wow. And the ground just disappearing, and then mm-hmm. the capsule starts Listen. to turn. Mm-hmm. And you're getting a 360 mm-hmm. of everything. You see, he said 360 again. The mark of the beast. How would you get 360 of everything? It's bullshit. Pay attention. And you're looking at darkness, uh-huh. and you, you realize. See? Listen, I'm going to. He mentioned, people, the darkness in a broad daylight. They're fucking up here. Do I mention it? You can't get out the blue. He said he get to the blue and he see darkness. Why the fuck we can't see the darkness in daytime like them? Why not, people? If Remember, you're telling us there's no top there. We just seen the atmosphere. Why the atmosphere is lit up? And then when you go up there, the atmosphere is dark. Why you buy this dumb shit, people? Why? Why? IQ, man. IQ. Told you, man, wisdom, understanding, and knowledge will let all of this dumb shit bounce off. You can't fuck with me. I know the whole deal. No space exists. They just prove it right here. The sky is fucking blue. Why did he mention darkness? Where it's at? The same thing you get from the William Shatner. Say, bust to the blue and see all darkness. But they still tell you there's no top there. Where is the fucking darkness in daytime? Wow. Everything. Mm-hmm. And you're looking at darkness and you realize. You see that? I'm going to change and go from darkness to look down at light. Instead wow. of light to look up at darkness. Wow. And wow. I'm going to change and go from darkness to look down at light instead of light to look up at darkness. Wow. And you wow. see the curvature. They always have to mention dark and light, duality, Freemasonry. This is how they do it, people. How did they get away with this? The mass is gone. The atmosphere. The atmosphere. Blue. You hear that? The earth. You hear that? He mentioned the atmosphere is blue. Why you never can see past the atmosphere, people, to see that dark space that they're talking about? A while ago when they so-called take off, did they go to the blue sky? The answer is no. They're looking outside the fucking so-called origin and looking at the blue sky. What do you think, people? Where did it go? It was still daytime there while they was floating in space. Where is the darkness he talking about? Where is that? Just, it was too short. It was too short. There <laughs> the you go. The trip was too short. It's too oh, short. It's a little over 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Are you a change? You see ma- that 10 minutes. And by the way, they float for three minutes out of that 10. Make it to space and back. Float for 10, for three minutes. Take seven minutes to do all of that shit then. Take out the time that they used to float. They go in space and come back 
in seven minutes. They only stop three minutes to float. What a dumb shit for the masses, people. And are you gonna look at light wow. differently? Do you have a new perspective? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look. It's transformational in the way that it's mm -hmm. transformation. Look at his hand sign. That's the devil horn. Go. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of your family, mm -hmm. a lot of your friends, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people who. You know, for me, being a football player, all the tough talk mm -hmm. with your boys, mm -hmm. when you're getting ready to do something like this, mm -hmm. then the I love yous and, and, and all the mm -hmm. things that come yeah, out that you script. would not expect to hear mm -hmm. um, before this trip happened. Mm -hmm. which on Look where you're looking, people. They have a teleprompter right there down low. That's where you get the script from. And don't wonder why they're giving you these sodomite so-called going to space in the pandemic. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Boom! Pay attention, An explosion yeah. of supersonic waves, interplanetary heat, mm -hmm. dust, fumes. The Earth's atmosphere has been mm -hmm. invaded by a cosmic rock the size yeah, of it. A cosmic rock. And the reason why I'm showing you this right here, because I do believe this is where they're going to go with it. Remember, they show you NASA, tell you NASA, the flecking so-called meteorite that's going to hit Earth. Armageddon style. Remember the movie? Don't worry about it, people. Not too long from now, they're going to pull off this on the masses right here. Did you believe in dinosaur dying from a meteoroid? Yes, you're dumb as a rock. Now is the time for you to get your brainwashed. You see this? Pay attention Earth. here. Mm -hmm. A few seconds ago, Look this rock this. weighing trillions of tons yeah, was hurtling towards Earth. Yeah, that it trillion can fly from New York ton. to Anchorage yes. faster than you could fry yourself mm -hmm. an omelet. Mm -hmm. This monster's name? The Chicxulub incident. Yes, and don't worry about it. All of them have a fucking name. These floating rocks, people. Remember this, people. Just in case everybody dumb on earth, rock farm out of something. Rock don't just fall out, farm out of nothing. So you see, when you see a rock on earth, that rock actually have the built up right there. What it built out of. You're not getting it. This right here can't be. Nothing in space to get this rock right here. What this rock made out of. You can't just have black and nothing hold up. Nothing. You have no ground to sit on. It's just a floating rock. And you believe it. Wow. Name, right? Just wow. 66 million years ago. Mm -hmm. 66 million. That's according. Pay attention. Into the earth. Back then, dinosaurs ruled the planet. See? But there you go. not for long. Mm -hmm. The epic collision took place in modern Mexico. Mm -hmm. In the Yucatan Peninsula. Don't right? worry about it. They know exactly where the meteorite hit. The meteorite destroyed the whole wide world, wipe out everything living on it. And they can show the spot where it actually hit. Wow. Wow. And a ball, people. Okay. Near Cancun, where mm -hmm. the dinosaurs were vacationing. Wow. Well, probably not. Wow. Still, the huge space rock hit the ocean. Yeah, but that even the space rock hit the ocean, people. Remember this. It hit water right here. Pay attention what they're going to tell you happened. And if you believe it, you can check your IQ right there. Well, IQ water check. couldn't stop the inevitable. Mm -hmm. The collision caused a huge amount of energy to be released. You see the that? horror on a planetary ah, scale. Had it caused a lot of energy. It hit the water, bruh. It better if you would have said it caused a tsunami, man. Come on, man. It hit the water and the, what? What? Do you, where you get all this smoke from? You get smoke out of the water? Okay, let's uh, listen. Imagine a mini sun lighting up the surface of the earth Get with tsunamis, the height of Get the Statue of, of Liberty, bursting of from the epicenter of the watery impact. Get out of here. Not good. The blast blew through the surface of the earth. It was you see that? Even though it hit water, the blast blew through the surface of the earth. And you see them show a mushroom cloud right there. What a fucking dumb shit for the dumb people. 66 million years ago. And you have another human being telling you about it, and you actually take what they say and run with it. Dumb down time. Hot as an oven and burnt mm -hmm. everything in his path. Wow, he get hot like a oven and burnt everything in his path. Is that stupid or what, people? It is stupid. It's one hundred percent dumb. He get in the water. That's where it go. If he hit the water, where the fuck you would have get all this fire and everything else? You never burn no water, no burn no water with put no fire. It's bullshit. Back a colossal earthquake and serious volcanic activity. Oh my goodness. A bunch of volcanoes a... simultaneously released oh on lava. Oh my goodness, and, and there you go. A volcano keep releasing, and that's what destroyed the whole wide earth. Do you believe that, people? Don't believe in these shits that they show you calling it volcano. 
Just another government trick. Ash into the prehistoric sky. Bullshit. Millions of tons mm -hmm. of ash and soot poisoned in the people. air. This formed a huge ash cloud in the mm -hmm. atmosphere, mm -hmm. which blocked out the sun's rays for several years. Wow. The long winter had begun. Mm -hmm. Only there wasn't any snow falling from mm -hmm. the sky, but rain made of sulfuric acid. What a dumb yes, shit. the Chicxulub incident might just be the most important thing that ever happened in the history of our planet. You hear that, people? Do you know why? The reason why it might be the most important thing ever happened on the so-called planet? Because this is a new agenda. The reason why it is, is because you buy it to begin with. You remember I just talked about it in my podcast about people buying the, the pandemic. And that's why it actually happened. The same thing with this shit right here. If you never believe in flying rocks, come down and kill all dinosaurs. You believe in dinosaur and everything. You're going to believe in this when they hit you in a new world order. For all the dumb people that wouldn't listen to the mag when I tell you dinosaurs is a fucking hoax. It's fake shit. 100% no if no but about it. It's fake shit. Something that they made up. All for this right here. So they can sell you this shit later on. That's the only reason why they do it. They never sell you that shit without for nothing. The reason why they sell you it is to sell you that this gonna happen again. And remember, if you believe in the dinosaur and you hear what they tell you happen to them, yes, you're going to be scared. The most scared that you ever be in your life when you hear that a, a rock bigger than hurt going to hit hurt. It's bull crap. Even more than you two. Mm -hmm. there you go. Back then, there were loads of volcanic eruptions, mm -hmm. a lot of Bullshit. flammable oxygen in the see? atmosphere, see? constant temperature changes. It was the perfect and worst time for all of this to go down. Bam. You remember what I just mentioned? Temperature changing. Same thing that they give you right now with this alert about global warming. Do you get it or not? Remember I tell you, the end of the world, end of times, tied to all of this shit right here. That's why it's time now. People need to wake up and see these. This is what they're going to do to you right now in this earth. They're going to trick you about a meteorite come to hit earth. And they're going to blame it on what? Global warming. 100% in. The atmosphere, constant temperature changes. Mm -hmm. You see? It was the perfect and worst time for all of this to go down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, how are we so sure about all this? Mm -hmm. Let's well, see. Well, the asteroid left an absolutely Look. huge crater on the planet's surface. You hear that, people? It left a huge crater even though it fall into water. Now, what you have to understand, people? Something that hit and, and have that so-called, what they call the force that they say come with and it send off this ripple effect and how the fuck would it still in a hole? The ripple effect supposed to rip down these so-called mountain sides. It wouldn't be a fucking hand hole like I show you right here. Do you get it or not? Picture something hit there and set off this big reaction and flumes and everything and these kind of edges still standing there. How did the blast go out to kill all the dinosaurs, the rascal? How did it get to kill them and these edges not even break off? Where did the blow go? Where is the explosion? Where is the so-called ripple effect? You lie to the fucking people. Is this really there? Dumb the fuck Day, on. This scar is hidden under the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, it's hidden. <laughs> Scientists found a lot of places on Earth with abnormally high levels of... No, it's bullshit. Always scientists and fucking architects orchestrators basically they orchestrate the whole thing that's why they give them those names but pay attention they always gonna find something archaeologists and scientists pay attention uranium orchestrate this metal bullshit. is very rare on earth mm -hmm. but it's in a lot of <laughs> asteroids that's... all metal was made that's something that you have to keep in mind all metals it don't matter what it is gold silver platinum aluminum titanium all made that means you can't find piece of metal on the earth unless somebody make it do you understand that goals and everything you can't find gold it's fake scientists have examined mm -hmm. scientists studied some 66 million year old rocks mm -hmm. see in of the course they of rock, know they know how whole is the rock 66 million same amount a year 
the so-called dinosaur get hit by a meteorite. Pay attention. Found dust, <laughs> the same dust that comes from asteroids. Wow. This could only have happened. know about what dust coming from an asteroid. The world is fake, people. You live in a deception. If a huge asteroid had mm -hmm. crashed into Earth. Mm -hmm. The catastrophe led Look to the extinction. Look at this shit, people. Look at this animal. Look at how the animal set up. Do you ever see no animal like this in your whole life? Just answer my question, man. You're dumb enough to believe them. I said, do you see an animal like this with this big old tail right here and this big old head? Is he balanced? He got two little feet right there or hands that he don't walk on. He would have been unbalanced, people. Look at the body. How did they come up with this fucking fake shit for the masses? Because everybody is stupid. That's why they do it, people. All Hollywood creation. And believe it or not, these actually lay eggs. That's another shocker for your ass right there. These big old giant animals, they actually lay eggs. Do you believe them? Okay. Of not only the dinosaurs, but also the asteroid. Mm -hmm. It was so hot at the point of impact, part of the asteroid just disappeared. What? It was so hot it just disappeared. The fucking floating rock that coming from space, why is it hot? Space is cool. You tell us space is a cold, dark place. The rock come from there, coming straight in earth, and now the rock is hot. Picture this, people. It's cutting to wind and everything when it's falling, coming here. It more to be cool than hot. How would it be hot, people? Why would it be hot? Uh, yeah, nobody can tell me these shits. I said, why would the rock be hot? Why would the rock hot? Why would it be a hot rock? It coming from cool space. Nothing in the earth is that hot to make a hot rock. Coming to the so-called dome and everything. And now it's burning when it hit. It disappeared because it was so hot. Mm -hmm. You need to show us that fucking meteorite that killed the dinosaur. Fuck off. A lot of water vapor and carbon dioxide shot up into the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. But All the biggest bullshit. problem... Sulfur. Mm -hmm. It got kicked up by the asteroid impact and <laughs> flew up into the air. These tiny sulfur particles blocked mm -hmm. out a lot of the sun's rays. It's Without bullshit, people. And uh, you go see that soon. They already block out the damn sky. When you look up and you think it's a bright blue day, the sky actually look light blue, kind of look whitish. Because they do cover it up. They cover it up. They block out the sun already. They're doing it. That's what they do. They're hiding the sky from the masses. And faking it while they're going to space. A lot of plants mm -hmm. disappeared mm -hmm. and the climate eventually got colder. Mm -hmm. The immense heat turned stones into glass. Scientists <laughs> call these things tectites. It don't turn stone into glass. Huh? I tell you people, the world is a fucking dumb place, man. Wow. You're not understanding when I tell you naturality is the creator. There's nothing natural about this shit that they're talking about absolutely nothing nothing natural there why would you believe this this is all science fiction the masses know what natural is if they only pay attention nothing that they sell you is not naturality all science fiction because that's the only way they can fool you you understand that the only way they can fool you and bring you down is by let you believe in friction and think that it's actually real shit. The energy of the impact threw mm -hmm. them up into the skies. Mm -hmm. After what a, a short dumb flight, shit. the tectites fell down to earth. What a dumb but it shit. wasn't pretty. Mm -hmm. Rain fell too. Mm -hmm. Only instead of drops of water, mm -hmm. you'd have seen hot glassy fireballs. Wow, they you believe that people? Hot glassy fireball. Just like I tell you, the snow that you see there fall from the sky is actually them doing it. Same way if you see this right here. You hear me? Nothing natural going on there. Glass and earth go up to the sky and fall down in fire. Dumb on. Bombarded the planet's Fuck surface for years. days. Full of shit. The tectites set fire to everything. Mm -hmm. Scientists found evidence of this all over the world. Of course, people. Scientists find evidence of it all over the world. Only scientists. And don't wonder why no regular citizen never bump up on nothing. Absolutely nothing. Move. Just near the collision Move. site. Look, this but is the collision site. Let's go back. All over the world. Mm -hmm. Not just near the collision wow. site. Watch this right here. But a lot of things from back then are still a mystery. 
Some scientists think that Chicxulub wasn't even an asteroid. It might have been a comet. There you go. Asteroids are mostly made of stone and metal. Stone and metal. All metal was made. Dumb people. All metal was made. They make all of them. You listening or what, people? Are we going dumb so bad? You believe that, people? Okay, then. And they kind of look like a potato. Mm -hmm, a comet course. contains mm -hmm. rock, metal, and ice. Comets look like dirty cosmic snowflakes. You hear that, people? It got ice. But when it comes to Earth, it was so hot. Even the fucking meteorite disappear. Complete with ammonia, methane, and carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. Comets sometimes come from the Oort cloud. It's a huge... How did all of that come together to make the rock floating around in space? I'm done with this fucking video. I'm going to ask you again. How did all of them carbon, gas, and all of this shit piled up to make that rock floating around in the middle of nowhere? It got nothing to force on to pile up to make a rock. Do you understand? It got nothing to compound it together. I'm gone, man.